What's up, Jackie? Sit. <laughs> Speak. <laughs> All right. Hey, so I'm ready for another verse of the day. I hope you are. Oh, sorry. It's petting my dog, shaking the camera. Okay, go on, go play. Bye bye, Jack. All right, so the verse of the day today is James 3:17. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Wow. So, I want to go to the first part of the verse first. It's the word but. So that tells me, which I already know because I read it, that earlier there's other wisdom talked about. So I want to mention that, James 3. Um, in just a few verses before, it says, um, mm -mm. but if you, okay, who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show it by his good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it and deny the truth. Such wisdom, quotation marks, just lost my place. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven, but is earthly, unspiritual, and of the devil. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. And then comes our verse. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is, first of all, pure, peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy, and good fruits, impartial, and sincere. So, it talks about wisdom that comes from, it says, uh, it's earthly, unspiritual, and of the devil. It's talking about envy and selfishness with your wisdom. So, those type of people who have wisdom, they just want to use it for themselves and say, you know, well, let's define wisdom. Wisdom is like discerning different things or making decisions based on um, stuff that's happening. And some people um, do that better than others. Uh, but it's saying if you just use it for like earthly things, like selfishness, like like uh, getting ahead in life, um, then that's of the devil. So that's pretty serious. Um, but our wisdom, is uh well I'll, i say wisdom from heaven um is all these good things so when you ask god for wisdom and i think earlier in james it it talks about if you ask god for wisdom um you shouldn't like if you ask god for wisdom you should expect to get the wisdom you know um because god says ask me and, and i'll give it to you uh so the wisdom that he gives you is all these things so if we get the wisdom from God he wants us to use it um, in pure ways uh, in peace loving ways and all those things so you might think um, uh, if I get wisdom I have to I have to use them that way and uh, um, have to be peace loving and full of mercy and good fruit and impartial and sincere well yeah um, if you're asking wisdom from God, that's kind of his gig, or is his way of doing things, all these good things. Um, and it's actually better for you. Um, it will it'll help you prosper, and those around you prosper more than if you're using it for earthly ways, like if you're just trying to help yourself. Um, Yeah, that sometimes we might think of uh, like the ways that God wants us to do things. They just seem so weird and like uh, almost the opposite of what we would think to do. Um, like the world or we would think, oh, if I have wisdom, if I'm smart, then I should use it for myself and uh, use it to make money. Uh, for myself so I can have a good life but God says I want you to have a good life but that's not the way of going about it use your wisdom to help others use it to uh, 
you know, promote these good things, promote peace. And that's how you'll prosper. Well, we, a lot of times, uh, we think prosper means money. But let's be real. If, if someone is, we, we call somebody well off if they're rich. So we have this thought of if you have money, then you're happy. Um, but God says, no, all, all these other things are, are, what, are what it's about, what your life's about. So like I was kind of saying, um, the, God's way of doing things, um, it may seem weird and foreign to us, but if we do them, um, that's when we're going to see. Um, I wrote it down better. Let me see. Uh, do, do, do. But yeah, if you take the time to actually try um, God's way, you'll see that every time is a hundred times better than doing it your own way. Um, because we don't know what we're doing in this earth. That's why God gave us the Bible. It's got all we need. Um, which I could go on on, on that, but um, but if we if we take the time to to say God, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. I, I might not understand it, but I'm gonna do it. That's that's faith. That's where faith comes in. And uh, the person who puts their faith in God is a wise person, uh, indeed. I wrote down indeed, so I'll say indeed. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this verse. Um, and I ask God for wisdom a lot and uh, uh, I don't know where I was going with that but um, it's good to ask God for stuff sometimes you might hear people say stuff like oh be careful if you ask God for stuff because then he's going to give you trials and hard times so that you can learn this stuff like don't ask God for patience because then he's going to give you things to work on your patience well duh I mean, if you want patience, how he's not just gonna go bam, you you got patience. No, that's not how God works. That, I mean, he could do that if he wanted to, but he'll he'll give you things to help you grow in that. Like, uh, I think I posted, yeah, the first video I posted it was about uh, perseverance. Um, it said if you persevere, then that then that is when uh, you'll get the crown. Uh, it says something about a crown, but like if we if we stick with whatever we're learning, then we learn it. You know, that's pretty obvious, but I don't know. I'm just kind of getting off on different things now, but um, so that's my verse. Um, comment, if, you, if you're watching this, comment with suggestions for what I should name my channel. Because right now it's just David Moline videos which is to the point, but I'm thinking of something like, I'm thinking of something to do with the word abide. Uh, because um, in my last video, which should upload tonight, which you don't know what tonight is because you don't know when this one, when I recorded this, but um, should upload and um, it's talking about um, a camp that I went to and worked at. Um, where that was a big part of it, um, abiding in Christ, um, which I, I think is a great thing. So I don't know, something with the word abide, and maybe I'll I'll end my videos with um, saying. Sorry, I just got nervous because my dad's walking by, um, and he can hear me talking. But I'll end my video with saying something like some little tag phrase and then it might be cheesy but then I'll say abide